Welcome to Nashville North Studios. We're here today, this is Thursday, the day before our normal fourth Friday opening, making a little video for you to see what we have to share. This show is entitled Artistic License from Edouard Manet to Frank Stella, and we have varied uh, examples of beautiful works by artists of the region and uh, they brought brave enough to bring all their work in and we hung it up on last Saturday uh, it was a little bit tense last Saturday because we got the order to close out but we got it done and uh, here you can see Susan Braddock in the front window with her bathing beauties pottery by Gail the Sue Ireland's book Telepathic Traveler, Jewelry by Arlene Grouch, some tea peeking out in the back, Bleaker and Simmons by Michael Averett. Over here we have a couple of examples, I don't know if you can see them very well, we'll see more inside, of Jason Antonelli's work and of course B. Stentis work which is in the solo room. So let's go inside and take a look and see what we can find out. Welcome to Nashville North Studios. And here's the exhibit that we managed to get hung. There's the purple wall. And the beautiful show. We'll take a closer look at the pieces. Some are brand new, some are held over from Carpe Diem, our last show. We can start up there with Lindsay's work. That's Lindsay Ray at the top. And here's a new piece also, uh, and this is by Leon Westcott. Here we have Lois Baird's beautiful rendition of a quiet, remote spot that you may be in today, I don't know. Matt Dixon with his gorgeous pastel and Tim Faraday's front door from the old country in Ireland. We'll go over here. Beautiful Pastel by Renee Leopardi. Photograph by David Wohler. And just the most perfect oil depiction by Andy Kina. And above that is Penny's work. Playing Musicians, Star Spangled PJs by Penny Beck. Sorry about the reflection. Here's a small work by Don Chalemi. Then we'll come back here, back up a little bit, because there's a great big work at the top, again by Susan Braddock, as the one is in the window. And to Susan's left is a piece by Tina Sacco under the work at the top is a, on the left is a beautiful pastel by Linda Robinson. Mosaic by Jill Snyder. And an acrylic painting by Grace Sampelli. And fabric art. You don't see fabric art too often, but we're uh, lucky enough to have Cheryl Patton Wu with us, and she does beautiful fabric work. Renee Leopardi's pastel. Another David Waller photograph. Hard to believe it's a photograph, isn't it? 
and a stunning oil painting by Linda Weisbecker. And I don't know if you can see it at the top, but another uh, fabric work by Cheryl Patton Wu. Whoops, here we go. Linda Weisbecker, Mae Townsend, Gail Beckley, and here's our purple wall. Go back a little bit so you can get the full view. I need a course in camera work, but here we go anyway. So that's the purple wall. We'll come in a little bit. Have Erica Madiri at the top. Below Erica is Shirley Hawthorne's work. And then Tim Faraday. And Beautiful Spring Blooms by Teresa Marie Kenish. And as always, beautiful centerpiece by Elise Cashman Bond. Jennifer Augie. Beautiful watercolor. Sorry about the reflection. Oil painting by Shirley Hawthorne. Just arrived, a beautiful piece by Merrill. Cool. And Jason Antonelli. Isn't that gorgeous? All of these creative works. Aren't we lucky? Over here we have four pieces at the top by uh, William McKenzie. And our Jason Antonelli's been busy making these creations on a daily basis. They're very reasonably priced at $50 a piece, and they're all originals. He changes up what he does constantly, just to show you a few. fun. I have pictures. I'll be posting more of those online. There we have another Matthew Dixon piece. Marlene Dorr. Matthew Dixon, I believe this is the church, um, Port, Port Community Church. Yes, that's a pastel. And our Praying Eagle by Marlene at the top. Don't forget we also have miniatures here by all the artists. Very reasonably priced. A little piece of art as a gift. Photography by Jackie Kaplan. Photograph of the Summers Point Bridge by Ken Thompson. Tina Sacco gives us a wave, and that a beauty? And Jill Coochie-Smith has a mixed media piece, almost giving you a kiss, if you will. And we have our smalls here on the shelves, always available, different prices, starting with these little doves by Mud Girl Studios. Tea by Bleeker and Simmons. Aquarium Ready Octopus. 
beautiful pieces by Cheryl Patton Wu again and Gail Pfeiffer. Pieces by Colleen Cornell. Christine O'Brien. Then we'll swing around here and uh, look at the work here on this wall. That's William McKenzie at the top, Liz Frisbee second, uh, Don Chalemi, and I always have trouble with Kubi's name, but Kubi. You probably know I'm in the reflections are not good and I apologize, but it's a beautiful rose. Can you see? All fresh with recent rain. Then of course we have this, my goodness. Look at all the work in this. This is a surfboard by Tina Sacco. Mosaic, very creative and available for your favorite wall. So we're gonna go now into look at B's work. B decided to stay with us. Uh, unfortunately, William could not come with his photography because of what's going on in the nation. But B's work is here. The pieces that aren't sold remain. And uh, as you can see, it's just beautiful. It's collage. It's mixed media. It's large and small. Also have photos that I'll be posting online of her work, all the work actually from the shows. There's something for everyone. B also has some smalls available. They're wrapped and well priced. Some examples. And some that are even smaller. So while you might not be able to come in personally, if you're interested in something, we can send you close-up photos of everything we have available, give you prices, and arrange to secure your piece for you when you can receive it. So here's our featured artist wall, starting with Bob Boyd. His work is photography and these pieces are mounted on birch cradles. Very interesting way to present photography and very beautiful too. Right next to Bob Boyd's work we have Susan Ireland and this is a array of her different works. She loves nature and people and you can see it in her work. This piece was created specifically for one of our shows at Nashville North Studios. If you see something you like we can accept payment several ways and uh, you can give us a call at 609-504-5044 and we'll help you make those arrangements. The work here at the top is Bill Signs. These are acrylic works. The works just below his are by Nancy Snyder. Nancy works pen to paper. She starts the blank piece of paper and starts drawing. Her history is one that came out of the garment industry. And when you look closely at her work, you can see how she was inspired. 
One of our most experienced artists is Sally Sachs Rourke. Here's a beautiful piece that she has here in the style of Van Gogh. I believe it's entitled Van Gogh Revisited. Just below Sally is the work of Teresa Kenish. Aren't they darling puppies? And Butterfly. Look at those faces. If you don't have room for a butterfly garden, you can have a butterfly on your wall in your house. We'll move over here to show you Christine O'Brien's work. Beautifully done. Christine has her own style and she is inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. You can see it in line and form. Beautiful works reflecting nature. Tina Sacco has joined us recently with her works, both uh, alcohol inks and pours with mixed media. And aren't they stunning? And B. Stenta, who's also in the solo room, has her own space on our featured artist collective wall, as you can see. At the top here, we have um, Doreen Kesbu with her oils. Doreen had a show uh, last month. That was spectacular. I'm sorry, the month before. And uh, under her are the photography works of Gail Beckley. Over here, we have Cheryl Patton Wu on the bottom. And Barry Pizentner on the top. You can see the works here are varied. Each artist is showcased in what they wish to do. That's what we want to impress upon you. This is your place to show what you do, not what anybody else does. Here's Arlene's work. Shirley's work, Shirley Hawthorne, including her earrings. More William McKenzie. And the beautiful works of May Townsend. Matt Dixon shares his pastels here. I even have a few pieces on the wall. Photography, paintings, and the work of Erica Madeiri. Erica's our fathers. Recordings that you can buy and more miniatures or perhaps a Willie Nelson photograph. In here we have the work of Nancy Palermo. There's Nancy right there with her self-portrait nestled among her uh, pieces of clay that she shaped with love as well as some of her paintings. This is the Nancy Palermo retrospective. She waxes political at times, or did, and uh, has a variety of works, some of Ocean City, 
lots to see. And we hope you'll join us. So think about coming by to this uh, location when you can get out. And uh, we'll be here. And in the meantime, if there's any way we can help you, please don't hesitate to call us. Visit us on our website at NashvilleNorthStudios.com, on Facebook, on Instagram. We're here for you, Jim and I. Take care. Gentle hugs.